What is happening guys? Cowboy here bringing you an updated guide regarding skill point farming in Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. So after the first two farming videos and more people have gotten the game, a couple of you guys pointed out areas of your own that you found that were really effective. And so what I wanted to do was put out an updated video that takes a look at ideal early game spots, mid to late game spots, and then lastly end game farming for the game. So of course we're going to be starting off with an early game farm and we are starting off from the Ashina Castle Gate Idol. Now this farm in particular requires you to have the axe, but it is very efficient. Probably the fastest farming loop early game, um, just in general. And what's great about this is while the experience that we're going to get out of this is uh, pretty similar to what we were getting farming the big boy, we can also get a hefty chunk of gold and upgrade materials out of this farming run. Now these two enemies up ahead have a chance to drop the upgrade mats for the prosthetic tool, making it a very nice farm early on in the game. Jump right on over, and boom, we're back. Once again, we're at like what, like a minute in? You can consistently get up and hit this guy with the running attack before he's able to actually shoot. First one, just run on up. The only one I've found that's a little bit finicky here is this guy over here, depending on how much he has moved. You might not one-shot him with the axe. But yeah, really, really nice fast farm. You're put in, pulling in uh, close to about 300 skill in like 30 seconds, so definitely a solid choice early on. For a late game spot, we're going to be hopping over to Mibu Village in Ashina Depths. Now, at a bare minimum to pull this off, I would highly suggest that you already have Suppressed Presence, the Shinobi skill. If you have this, the one that deafens your footprints, that helps even more. But otherwise, go on over here towards this enemy, and as soon as the icon shows up, Stealth, what you're going to want to do is you need to hug this wall as tight as you possibly can. And even though it looks like he'll see you, it never actually fills up. Takes roughly 30 seconds to kill, and you get nearly 800 experience for taking this guy out along with a fair amount of gold. Once again, run along till he sees you, crouch. Just hug the wall. As long as you're hugging the wall, it looks like it's going to fill up, but it never actually does. That's the most important thing here. If you have the suppressed footsteps, you can even... Uh, you don't have to be as sneaky, but otherwise, that's your go-to or as you move towards the late game and begin uh, your first real whack at the final bosses. Now for our final and end game farm, we're going to be going to the Sanctuary Idol in the Fountainhead Palace. And in particular, to make this farm as efficient as possible, you're going to want to have a Sabi Mario at least upgraded to piercing. This one is pretty easy. You're just going to run here, drop down off this tree, and then just go into the Sabi Mario combo. This last enemy tends to hop around a lot, so you just want to try and push him into a corner and then just don't let up with your combo at all. There you go. 3,000 plus experience in under a minute. Uh, out of all the different things to farm, I would say this is, without question, the most XP you're going to pull in. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm actually, this is post-game for me right now. Even post-game, I haven't found anything that compares to this. You saw right there, I was able to get a death blow for a split second. Uh, you can get one on this enemy, but I find that it's it's super inconsistent, which is why I just recommend using Sabi Maru to just tear them up. And that's going to wrap this one on up. So uh, these are the three best spots that I think are in the game. Uh, I know I did a couple other farming guides, and 
Uh, these were basically based on you know further tests and comments from the community and things that I discussed with you guys. So hopefully you enjoy all three of the final spots. Uh, this one in particular I found super useful just for getting those last couple skills I needed uh, to take on a couple of the optional bosses. So either way, thanks for coming by, and I'll see you guys next time.